so it's been a while since I've posted a video <clears throat> and it's not fish related but I threw in some fresh veggies for my hissing roaches and I thought it was really cool how the second that I put them in they always all come running out and immediately start feasting but I never had really been able to see them how they do eat you can see that it's literally just disappearing that's why i've always thought that bug mouths are really weird and when i hold them sometimes it freaks me out if i hold them for too long and they start touching me with their mouth part because look at how they eat the leaf i'm like can they just do that to anything i don't know how that functions. And maybe if I knew more about biology, I could make that into an informative video. However, I don't know that much. I just know that they really like the same stuff that my lizard eats and my isopods eat. So it's pretty easy to take care of them. But I could just watch them eating this stuff forever. They just pick it up a piece by piece and then it disappears. And they're all over here. There's little ones, some big ones. All of them are kind of freaked out by the light, but you can see their antenna moving around. They're wondering what's happening. They want to be a part of it, but they're nervous. Oh, you heard one hiss. I wonder if another one was. Probably this one. Yeah, it looks... Okay, dude. Unfazed. Anyway, since I mentioned it, look, now I've got him rolled up. That's my bad, bro. I guess I may as well just show the other stuff since the video hasn't told me that it's out of footage yet. So this is one of my tarantulas. Sheer, he isn't super big, but a lot bigger than when I got him. Oops. That's worse than what it was before. Um, well, this is my Goliath tarantula. This one's pretty big. Actually, she looks really big. That's cool. This is not super big. It's a little bit smaller than that one. And that's the Mexican leg tarantula. That one's pretty cool. I accidentally crushed a lizard whenever I was moving rocks around. I didn't know it was in the rocks. So even though it might have parasites, I gave it to him so that at least it wasn't a lost cause. I don't even see bones. So he cleaned it up. I got him so mad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it, dude. Just go eat some vegetables. This is my oldest tarantula that I have. I don't There. It's a curly hair. I need to drill holes in this one still, but this is what she was originally in. Then I moved her into a different one. I moved her back into this one, but it's because I kept getting mold issues. And I think it's already happening again, the same one. I hate this mold. It only happens to this tarantula. What do you do to the tank? I don't know. It's not just because there's not holes in it. It was like that even in the other tank that had more ventilation. Mm -hmm. But it had screens, so then I was worried because of what some people say. And then these are the orange isopods. I just sold like 200 of these, so I don't have very many. Before it looked like an ant hilly stepped on whenever I opened this thing, but now there's only some. There's a lot more of these than I thought I had. They must have been hiding really well whenever I was catching them. These, however, kind of their population seems kind of obliterated. There's like... I made sure there was at least a couple dozen, because I only started out with 10, so if I they, if I, they could start from 10, they could start from 20 or 40, 40 or whatever. And I don't even know what's in here. Well, I mean, I kind of do, but not really. It's basically just the barrier between these two, so it's like the Romeo and Juliet genes, and it's just kind of like, they're not supposed to be together, but they choose two anyways in here. And then there's also some wild roly-polies that I didn't know survived that I've seen in here. And then there's also some clown 
roly polies. That's not what they're called. I don't remember what they're called. But they're one of the little isopods. And I had them too. But I thought they all died. But they actually have seen a lot in here. So they're doing something. But I'm not really sure if there should be like three types. They're going to outcompete each other from what they say. But I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty much all that's over here. My um, worm culture, I'm pretty sure died, which sucks. Because the last time I checked, there was like no worms. And I've been neglecting to feed my springtails enough. So there's not very many, but there's still some. And this is my mix. It's right now like collard greens. Ah, that's a lot of stuff. I don't really feel like saying. If you care, then ask me. But anyway, that's all for this video. This one's really cool right now. Oh, something sounded weird over there. I'm going to go check on that.